What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be towing with the Duramax for the first time since lifting it. Now in the last video we did install that new tow tune from Edge, so power is not going to be an issue. However, 9 inches of lift, 2 inch spacers, 26 inch wheels, 36 inch tall tires definitely could be a different story, but there's only one way to find out. So this is actually a two-piece design where you can put that pin in there and raise and lower that. And I think there's probably a couple more right here, so this could actually be a lot taller. But when we took it off of Mead's truck, this is as high as we went. Deep bogger bow. I'm gonna try a little bit of sketchiness, sit it down on this ball, crank this back up, drop that down, and then I should be able to get it on the right ball. Once again, huge shout out to Mead for letting me borrow his trailer. This thing is an absolute beast. It's a proper dump trailer and it's gonna make life a lot easier than using my little trailer and making like 10 different loads to get all this hauled off. So here's our beautiful pile of trash, which I'm gonna try to haul off in one load. I don't know if that's possible. We're gonna have to see. This is some really heavy carpet, padding, buckets of paint, trash. Uh, I might have to cut some of this stuff in half just so I can get it on there by myself. Either way, let's start the time lapse and get it loaded. Well, I just found out our brake controller does work. It was actually set on four and had the brakes sliding, but I bumped it down to two. Should be good. Help us out a little bit, but not be too much. Let's see how she does. Absolute beast. Stop and grab me a little drinky drink. Y'all look at this thing. Y'all was worried about it being squatty. Come on now, this thing barely even leaning. Ain't nothing. Let's hop to the other side and check it out. Yeah, boy. Holy crap, it looks insane. Powder on the tires. Heck yes. Red alert, we've got a flopper. We got a piece trying to escape. Get back in there, you piece of junk. All right, there's a guy riding a motorcycle right behind me. And in a world where everybody likes to sue someone, I'm like, okay, great. He's sitting back there waiting for something to fall out so he can crash and sue me. Tell me why 
this thing drives just as good with the trailer than without it. Maybe even better. It rides fine, typically, but it's very happy pulling this weight for some reason. All right, well, we made it to the dump. Just got my 360 cam set up. It's time to head out there and get this unloaded. Absolute chaos, as always here at the dump. Mr. Uh, compactor dude was pressing me, boys. Look at this freaking truck, y'all. It has done absolutely outstanding, and Mead's dump trailer is next level, dude. Just being able to pick it up, drive off, and be done, insane. So, let's go ahead and get out of here, see how much we weigh, how much it costs. What the heck do you think you're doing, camera? Getting lazy on me? I don't think so. Get up there. 1500 pounds of trash that we chunked we weighed 11,000 pounds when we just left 12,500 coming in 12,540 11,020 pounds leaving so the trailer's definitely several thousand pounds what do y'all think comment down below what did it cost drop your comment right now all right, it was $22.80, which I will take. That ain't bad at all. And just like that, we are back at the farm. I would say first time towing with the Duramax being lifted was 100% successful. I am very pleased with how this thing performed. You know, of course, we're not pulling 20,000 pounds or something, but the truck being lifted on big wheels and tires 
hauling a decent amount of weight, you know, the trailer plus 1500 pounds, give or take. Um, <laughs> it honestly felt like it was barely even back there and suspension handled it great. We were barely even leaning, squatted, whatever the case. Um, the truck handled probably better than when it's unloaded. I guess it kind of just takes some of that bounce out of the back and really dialed it down. Uh, braking was fine. Uh, turning, which I was a little bit worried about. The truck is at perfect height because it's tall enough to look big. You can stuff some big wide wheels and tires on here, but also not worry about not being able to drive it. So we didn't rub at all today. And I did a lot of turning, sharp turns, obviously back in the trailer up. This this was a, this is extreme combo. The length of this truck with the length of that trailer is extremely easy to back up. No problem whatsoever. Um, but even just driving around town and stuff, it's so nice not having to worry about rubbing and stuff. Once again, huge shout out to Mead because without this, it would have been a much, much longer day. And honestly, just it would have freaking sucked because I'd had to use my little baby trailer over there probably would have had to make two three different loads and obviously i would have had to load it unload it load it unload it and unlo uh, yeah rather than this freaking baller thing where you just slap it full raise it to the moon drive off and everything slides out that thing was freaking awesome so once again i greatly appreciate it mead this thing saved the day um the truck definitely got a lot of attention at the landfill um everyone was looking at it which is awesome that's the whole purpose i, I love sharing the experience with everyone so um man it was cool everybody was checking it out probably the most like not nicest truck going to the landfill because there were some nice trucks in there but you know maybe the most flashy i would say you don't typically see big chrome suspension lifted humongous chrome wheels bright red truck at the landfill so um that was cool um shout out to the guys that helped me back up didn't really need help but they were you know come on back come on back and i, I appreciate it so got me lined up right there at the trash flipped that baby up took off and she was done so uh definitely got to give this thing a bath but honestly it's not as dirty as i was expecting mostly as dirty from that freaking uh popcorn ceiling that spilled out of course it's super dusty but uh yeah, I'll take dust over mud all day, every day, because if you go to the landfill when it's muddy, you get out there and you get that freaking stinky mud slung up everywhere. It's a nightmare. Whereas this freaking pressure washer will eliminate all of that. Hopefully y'all are enjoying the vloggy vlogs. I've been trying to do mods on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then on Sundays, we do like a vlog with the truck. So be sure to comment down below. Let me know if you are enjoying this kind of style, because, you know, Eventually, there will be a limit to mods. <laughs> the truck can be completed. This one's not. But in order to just enjoy it while it looks like we like it, let's do some vloggy vlogs using the truck. So be sure to leave a comment, leave a like, all that good stuff. Once again, huge shout out to all of y'all. I appreciate the support immensely. It means the world to me. Trying to produce content that y'all want to see. So leave me some feedback. Let me know. I'm going to quit rambling. Hopefully y'all did enjoy. I'm going to go clean this truck. I'll catch up with y'all in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.